Hey JLA, it's Miss Kilty here with my special friend Carlin and we are going to read a book about doggies called Macduff Moves In. This book is by Rosemary Wells and Susan Jeffers. In the back of a dog catcher's truck sat a little white dog nobody wanted. Thump went the truck over a bump in the road. The little dog popped out into the night. He tumbled onto the soft earth of a tulip bed. He did not know where he was. He needed something to eat. He needed a warm place to sleep, so he went looking. Woof, said the little white dog at the front door of number six Pine Road. But the answer from the other side was growl. Woof, he said on the front steps of number 12 Oak Lane. But someone said hiss from the wood pile. Strange voices hooted and whistled at him from the trees. Many pairs of eyes winked and blinked at him from the darkness of people's gardens. Rain poured down. It swirled and swept around him. Suddenly, the wind came up. It blew the clouds and rain away. and the moon smiled full on the world. Through an open window in the kitchen of number seven Elm Road, wafted the smell of vanilla rice pudding and sausages. Woof, 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 said the little white dog. Nobody growled at him. Nobody hissed at him. Somebody opened the door and asked him to come in. It was Lucy. This is Fred, said Lucy. No one had ever asked him to come in. Evan always told him to go away. What does his collar say? Asked Fred. Animal number 47, city dog pound, said Lucy. He needs help, said Fred. Lucy spooned out a dish of vanilla rice pudding. She sliced sausages on top of it. He's hungry, she said. After a coconut herbal bath, he looked like a snow cloud. We certainly can't keep him, Fred said. We're much too busy. I guess we'll have to take him to the dog pound, said Lucy. So they brought him into the car. Fred drove up and down and around. You are going in circles, Fred, said Lucy. I don't want to find the dog pound, said Fred. I don't want you to find it, said Lucy. Fred and Lucy brought their new friend home. All he needs is a name, said Fred. They celebrated with hot chocolate. Lucy opened a tin of Macduff's melt-in-your-mouth shortbread biscuits. That's it, said Fred. Woof, woof, said Macduff. The night was nearly gone. The rain clattered and spattered over everything. Lucy and Fred and Macduff fell sound asleep. How happy they are, they said in their dreams. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Say bye to Carlin. <laughs>